Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to reset or restore cPanel to default. So let's get started. So we are going to do this in three simple steps. In the first step we are going to log into our cPanel account. In the second step we are going to delete all the files from our cPanel account. And in the third step we are going to delete all the databases from our cPanel account. So let's get started with the step number one. So in order to log into your cPanel account, in the address bar, type your domain name slash cPanel and hit enter. So in this way, we will be redirected to our cPanel login page and here we need to enter our cPanel username and password and then click on login. You can find this username and password from the email which is attached to your cPanel hosting. So now I am going to click on login. And this will take us to our cPanel dashboard. Now at first we are going to delete all the files from the cPanel. So in order to delete all the files, just scroll down to file section and then click on file manager. And here it will show us all the files that are available on our hosting account. So to delete all the files, just from the top click on select all. And then again from the top click on delete button or right click on the files and then click on delete button. Now just click on this checkbox. So in this way your files will be permanently deleted. And then click on confirm button and your all the website files from the cPanel will be removed. So this is how you can delete all the files from the cPanel. As all of my websites are working fine so I am not going to delete anything from here. But you can do this using this method. So I am going to click on this cancel button and now we are going to delete all the databases that are available on our web hosting. So in order to delete your databases, go to cPanel main page and from here scroll down to databases section and then click on my SQL databases. Now scroll down to current databases section and here it will show you all the databases that are available on your hosting. And from here you need to delete all the databases. Next to your database you will see a rename and delete button. So if you want to delete the database just click on delete and then again click on delete database and in this way your database will be deleted. And you can use this method to delete all the databases from your web hosting. One more thing that you can do to restore your cPanel account completely is to delete all the FTP accounts available on your hosting. So if you want to delete all the FTP accounts on your hosting, go back to cPanel main page and from here scroll down to file section and then click on FTP accounts. Now scroll down to FTP accounts section and here it will show you all the FTP accounts available on your hosting. As currently I do not have any active FTP account and it is asking no accounts found. But in your case, if you have the FTP accounts available, then it will show up here. And from here you can easily delete them just like the databases. So this is how you can reset or restore your cPanel account to default. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.